Good morning. I would like to inform you that uh, at the meeting of the Council of Ministers that will be held today, the government of Spain will approve the official recognition of Palestine as a state. With this decision, Spain joins the more than uh, 140 countries that already recognize Palestine. This is a historic decision that has a single goal, to contribute to achieving peace between Israelis and Palestinians. The recognition of uh, the state of Palestine is not only a matter of historical justice with the legitimate aspirations of the Palestine people, but it is also an imperative need to achieve peace. It is uh, the only way to realize the solution that we all recognize as the only possible one to achieve a future of peace, that of a Palestine state that coexists alongside the state of Israel in peace and security. The state of Palestine must be viable with the West Bank and Gaza connected by a corridor and with East Jerusalem as its capital and must be unified under the legitimate government of the Palestine National Authority. Although it is not up to Spain to define the borders of uh, other countries, our position is aligned with the UN Security Council resolutions 242 and 338 and with the position of the European Union. Therefore, we won't recognize change in the 1967 lines other than those agreed to by the parties. It is also essential uh, that Palestine finds its adequate uh, place in the international community. That is why Spain will continue to support efforts to strengthen Palestine's presence in international organizations. The recognition of uh, Palestine is not against anyone, least of all Israel, a friendly nation that Spain values and holds in uh, high regard and with whom we aim to foster the strongest possible relationship. Furthermore, this decision reflects our absolute rejection of Hamas, a terrorist organization who is against the two-state solution. From the outset, Spain has strongly condemned the terrorist attacks of October 7. This clear condemnation is the resounding expression of our steadfast commitment in the fight against terrorism. I would like to underline that starting tomorrow, we will focus all our efforts to implement the two-state solution and make it a reality. We will work on three main priorities. First, we must urgently put an end to the ongoing unprecedented crisis in Gaza. I call once again for a permanent ceasefire, for the entry of humanitarian aid, and for the immediate release of all the Israeli hostages held by Hamas. Secondly, we will support the Palestine National Authority in the reform process initiated by its new government. The Palestine Authority is our partner for peace, and it will need all of our support. And finally, we will continue to foster cooperation with our Arab partners who are working and uh, committed towards peace and prosperity in the region. We will continue working with them with the aim of convening an international peace conference to implement the two-state solution. The decision that Spain is solemnly adopting today is based on the respect for international law and the defense of the rules-based international order. These are the principles that guide us always, no matter the context, both in Gaza, Palestine, and in Ukraine. Spain will always defend the proposals and principles established in the Charter of the UN. With today's decision, we assume our responsibility in the search for peace, security, and prosperity of all peoples in accordance with the mandate of the preamble of our national constitution. But above all, we act in accordance to what is expected of a great country such as Spain. Thank you. Gracias.